Congratulations on making it through so many of the standard deviation videos. I have two more. I have this problem and the problem after it. Both are pretty complicated. So please stop the video, think about it, allow yourself to spend a minute, maybe even 90 seconds on this problem and then unpause the video and come back to me, okay? So this one has to do with these dotted charts. All right, chickens, what did you think? They're asking you here about your standard deviation and about your range. Just looking at the answer choices, I can first eliminate at least two of the answer choices by figuring out what my range is. If my range is greater or smaller. So how do we calculate the range? We take the greatest value, we subtract the smallest. We take the greatest value, we subtract the smallest. So the greatest value for set, the first set, is 88 minus 56 that gives me 32 and then 112 minus 80 that gives me 32. well at the very least we can eliminate b and c now which one is it is the standard deviation for both sets going to be the same or is it going to be different hmm well let's take a look what is our average 56 plus, I'm calculating the average for the first set, 64 plus 68 times 5 plus 72 times, I'm just counting out the dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 78 times 8 plus 76 times 5 plus 80 plus 88. And then my total is 1,584. I'm going to divide this by 22 because I know that there's 22 students. And that is 72. So my mean is 72. And quite frankly, I don't even need to calculate anything else because I see that the standard deviation for the first set is very low. See, if my mean is 72 and there is uh, a ton of values, there's eight values that are exactly at the mean. That means that the standard deviation is going to be very low. And I could see how well spread out the second set is. I can confidently say that the standard deviation is going to be different. I hope you like this video. There's one more tough standard deviation problem that I want to go over with you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.